Yo, it's Creed here from GS Productions, and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to download GIMP, which is a software used to make, um, like, edit images. It's basically the same thing as Photoshop, but we like to use GIMP for making our GB logos and stuff like that. But first off, I want to thank, um, Mr. XSJW for the sweet new intro. Um, that he made us as you've seen in the beginning of this video and I want to thank uh, Mini Mauser for the uh, YouTube layout he made Alright, so first off you want to open up your internet browser You want to go to Google or whatever search engine Oh, yeah also, our montage is out, so check that out. That's what I was just playing right there. So once you're at Google, you want to type in GIMP. And you sh the first one that should pop up is their main website. And now what you want to do is click download right here. And then download GIMP 2.6.8. And you want to press save. And it looks like it's going to take one minute. Oh yeah, and if you hear like a kind of I don't know, it's a weird noise, like, humming or something, that's my computer, uh, I guess the, fa I have a laptop and the fan in it, the bearings are going, so sooner or later I'm gonna have to buy a new computer, but, yeah, that's what that noise is. Alright, so now that it's done downloading, you want to open the downloader, run, continue, just keep clicking next, install now, this might take some time. Alright, once it's done extracting, it should take like 2-3 minutes. Uh, you can either choose to launch GIMP or not. So, press finish. And the first time it opens, it might take a while. Especially if you have a lot of fonts downloaded on your computer. And a lot of um, brushes. It's got to download and configure all those. So, yeah, that might take a little while. And I might do a tutorial on how to download fonts to your computer to use like in GIMP Word, you can use them anywhere. And how to download brushes for GIMP, maybe brushes for Photoshop, I don't know. So, yeah, this will start up any second here.
Alright, so yep, here is a photo editing slash manipulating software. Uh, this is what we use to make our game battles logos and stuff like that. Same thing as Photoshop, except this is free. And yep, there it is.